Hi everyone, so welcome to August 2013 favorites. Summer is about over and we're getting more like right here into the fall seasons. Truthfully, uh, I don't even feel it in the weather yet, which I'm kind of excited about. You get a little bit of the last minute um, hot summer beach in. Uh, truthfully, I do think that I'm gonna be spending still some time at the beach this fall and winter. So hopefully I can blog about some fresh activities to do in the fall. And when I figure we'll start off talking about makeup since I'm sure that's probably most likely why you're here. If you're more into like food and uh, products or whatever, that's my other channel, which I always have the link for in the bottom bar. bar. It's Miss CC Vlog. First off, my favorite product of the month is the Gabrielle Eye Primer in the shade Neutral. I use this to um, start off my eyebrows with, as well as my primer for, for uh, my all my eyeshadows, and just I get a better like look. I get a longer staying power of my eyebrows, and I find that I don't have to uh, try to fill them in as much or go back and forth and try to make them look perfect. Actual eyebrows go. I really like the uh, Elamasca Brow Powder. Um, in the shade Amato. I find that this particular color better suits me now. I'm not sure if I want to go lighter with the eyebrows yet. I'm kind of deciding if I want to do more of like a bold eyebrow with the bangs or if I want to do a light eyebrow with the bangs. So I haven't fully decided, so we'll see. Love Inglot. This brand really needs no further introduction or mention from me personally, but I love their eyeshadows. I love all the finishes. Um, I'm not a huge fan of some of the AMC Shine number uh, AMC Shine ones, but I do love AMC Shine number ten. Um, absolutely love Inglot shadows. I love the double sparkle finish. I'm not wearing Inglot this month. I've pretty much been wearing sugar pills or incorporating sugar pill into my Inglot look. Some of my favorite sugar pill colors are Decora, which is a gorgeous watermelon pink and uh, it has like a nice teal sparkle. And when I'm not using this as a main color, I'm using this as like an accent color. It's just a very intense gold. It's absolutely gorgeous. Huge fan of lit glitters. Um, some of my favorites are Gal Friday. This is a solid size number two. It's a dark purple with maroon glitter. I also love Honey Bunny. I've used this in a few tutorials. It is a shimmery pink bright pink with like a rainbow sparkle. I love Rich and Famous, which I'm wearing today. Gorgeous. It's a, like a gold that has rainbow sparkle in it. I also love Trend, which is an extremely bright blue. Most of which of, I'm holding up are all solids, except for Honey Bunny. And I also really like Cher, which I wore in my Eco Emmy unboxing video. This is a silver with a multi range of sparkle. Most of my favorite ones have a base tone and then a rainbow glitter. My favorite mascaras that I can't get enough of that I have been wearing pretty much all month is Inglot. Um, Inglot's uh, Long and Curly Mascara is the one I recommend out of all of the ones I've tried so far. And I haven't tried all of them, so I can't say all of them, but long and curly. Um, the Tarte, I have been using this since I opened it, and it is the Tarte uh, Airbrush Maracuja Blush in the shade Shimmering Peach. I love that it's sort of like a nectarine pinky peach. It's kind of on the deep scales of peaches, but don't worry, it doesn't go on too red. Uh, I almost actually bought Shimmering Poppy, um, but then again, I've been buying so many uh, blushes with the name Poppy in them, I felt okay, I need to get out of this poppy blush bubble that I've been loving. Um, but um, So I decided to get Shimmering Peach. Not in a completely different family all its own for me, but uh, definitely different. It's uh, for what I've been wearing recently. This is not a cream finish. It's not a matte finish. It is a shimmery finish, and I typically don't like shimmering blushes. So I could see that these blushes may not become as popular as Amazonian clay blushes. But in all honesty, I find these um, to be almost like the cream blush version of the Amazonian clay blushes because they are longer lasting. Digging the all natural face, this is the yeah. This is the color Peachy Rose, and I honestly didn't expect to love this, um, truthfully, but I do. And it came in with my Eco Emmy July kit. I've totally been digging this. Um, I definitely want to try more all natural face blushes. I like that this is sort of a natural peach. Um, and yeah, so it kind of reminds me of 
a cream version of MAC's uh, Blush and Harmony in a way. I just uh, really love this. You can use it as a contour as well. And yeah, you can use pretty much any blush as a contour. It's actually a nice way to get used to contour without having like uh, bronze streaks across your face. As highlighters go, I've been huge into this Stila All Over Shimmer Liquid Luminizer. I expected to find this product to be okay, but I actually expected to forget that it was in my kit, truthfully, because I typically don't even use the the Tarte Maracuja highlighter I have. I think I must have too, way too deep a shade in that, and it doesn't show up on me as a glow or a dew. And I do know that some people actually like to buy luminizers that match their skin exactly because they don't want a bright highlight, but I actually... While I do think that that's a nice look, I actually do prefer a brighter highlight myself. I love to see uh, illuminated cheekbones, so I definitely want to actually get a paler or softer shade of, of this. I recommend the Stila Color Balm lipsticks. I'm actually wearing Olivia right now, and I love it. Um, I don't wear my L as much, but I definitely love it. Um, it's simply because I you typically go for a bolder I, if you know me, and uh, based on this video, you might know that as well. Um, but I definitely have to say I, I love those lipsticks and highly, highly recommend them, including eyelashes into a makeup accessories realm, if you will, because I do, it's something that you add onto the face in a different way than applying makeup. So uh, I'm not going to include it with eyes as much. My favorite eyelashes of the month go to Ardell Color Impact Lashes, specifically for Demi Wispies in Wine, which I'm wearing now. I love how the color illuminates the eyes so much more gorgeously than um, black eyelashes will. Um, I have tried the green, the blue, and the purple. And while I love all of those, I honestly have to say I still love wine the most. I know I have hazel eyes, so I'm a little biased that way. But I have to say I love the green for the way it looks when you close your eyes and you see that tint of green. However, I don't like the styles that green comes in. I love the styles that blue comes in, absolutely. And I've worn the blue with cool tone smoky eyes. I think that's a gorgeous look. But it makes my eyes look more brown and I prefer them to look more hazel. My favorite nail polishes go. I've actually worn a lot of blue nail polishes this month. And I've hated all my new blue nail polish purchases. They chip easy. They flake off horribly. So I don't recommend any of the blues I've tried. But I do really love Zoya and Elodie. This is a little sheer so it requires a couple coats. But I love this beautiful coral. If you're wearing more pinks, it'll kind of go into that pink family. It's sort of a nice melon color. I'm also a huge fan of Orly's Your Blushing. It almost reminds me of Wet n Wild's Wet Cement, but at the same time, not quite as gray. It's a little bit more forgivable as a murky lavender. All right, so yeah, as far as um, other things, I updated my hair, as you can tell. I decided to add a, uh, a side-swept asymmetrical bang. I wanted to go from point A to point B, quite literally. Um, and I have some very short, cute, choppy layers in the front. The cut isn't like crazy edgy, although it does have a lot of shorter pieces at the crown, but it still goes long in the back, so you can still put it in a ponytail, which really works for me because I'm getting more into advanced yoga and I want to be able to pull some of this back. Um, but yeah, still have a lot of fun with it. I definitely enjoy a slightly edgier cut. I don't really love um, cutesy, girly bombshell cuts, and I don't think they do anything for my face. So I, I'm loving this cut. I feel like me again, but me as a blonde. Um, I definitely like the color I chose. It's a darker blonde, a more natural blonde. I didn't want it to look too ashy. So I'm kind of afraid this looks a bit ashy, but I know it'll lighten up. I know some people love it when I include affirmations and things uh, to heal you, I guess. Um, so I am going to put my video from my vlog channel down below. It's about um, a little bit of a raw vegan cleanse I was doing and my vegan and organic journey. I'll put that in as a video response. And um, it's basically just about how I'm eating more whole fresh vegetables and I want to include more raw uh, tips and stuff like that on that channel um, and just about how I am moving on with my lifestyle as far as being a vegan and I also wanted to end on an affirmation because that's what I do um, for my monthly videos but I didn't want to make this video too much about lifestyle because I feel like I had been doing that in my favorites and some of you guys may not be interested I don't know let me know if you guys do like that you may Alright, so here's my affirmation. I go to nature to be soothed and healed and to have my senses put in tune once more. 
and it's by John Burroughs and that is definitely why I'm into being a vegan and a yogi and I'm into hiking and going to the beach because I go to nature to be soothed and healed and have my senses put in tune once more and even if it's just going for a walk around your neighborhood it might just clear your mind a little bit and life's too short to be sad and miserable so just uh, find what makes you happy and gives you a little bit of peace in mind even if it's just for five minutes of the day. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you guys September already. All right, I'll see you guys in September.